Well, Patrick, how did you like Deathstalker 2? I like it so much, and it's not just Monique Gabriel. She's obviously my favorite part. It's such a fun movie. It's so dumb, but it knows it's dumb. That John Terleski performance where he's just completely tongue-in-cheek on everything, I just think that's a more that's a more fun... Maybe because I don't really like fantasy that much. I like a stupid, self-aware Sword and Sorcery movie more than, like, an actual serious Sword and Sorcery movie. Like, I like this movie more than Conan. <laughs> I can't explain it. I just do. And... <laughs> It's a classic B movie. It's hilarious. It's largely intentionally funny. There's some bits that are unintentionally funny, i.e., Monique Gabriel's acting. Although some of that I think is intentional. Some of her, I mean, her lines. Oh, and some yeah. some of the lines some that are gotta be. some of them are that are genuinely bad jokes are made funny because of how terribly they're delivered. I.e., the top half, bottom half line, and then the John Lazar sword fight is actually well done. Like, there's enough. That's, like, kind of exciting as far as action stuff goes, but mostly just, to me, this is a comedy, and it's a pretty damn funny one. I like it. This is the best Deathstalker movie. This is the best Deathstalker actor. Yeah, I think it's a different actor in all four films. <laughs> the The guy in the first Deathstalker sucked. The The, yeah, the worst Deathstalker actor, actor is in the third one, that, which is also the worst Deathstalker movie. That The guy who plays Deathstalker in that is literally the most boring person i've ever seen in a major motion well major in a motion <laughs> picture yeah there's nothing major about any of the, any of the death stalker movies i suppose but uh, christ john terleski is really funny in this movie he's really likable he's got that like harrison ford like han solo charm he's, yeah he's got but, boyish but charm. in like a goofier way yeah jim what about you yeah like this is a movie that if you're if you have a friend who wants to get into B movies, I would suggest showing them a movie like this, if not this movie. You know? Yeah. It, it's it's palatable, you know? <laughs> like you you kind of understand what's going on, but it's lacking enough sense or like it's lacking what, what am I trying to say? Like it's lacking just enough to not entirely make sense, right? <laughs> and you get everything that you want out of a classic B movie. Bad acting, funny acting, genuine comedy and jokes, nudity. Amazing, gratuitous nudity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing nudity. Too. Explosions, you know. Yeah, it, it's it's a really fun movie to watch, and I was... Dumb jokes about pig-headed people not thinking one of the most attractive women who's ever, li- uh, who's ever lived is attractive because she doesn't have a pig face. <laughs> Yeah, I, it's just a fantastic movie. <laughs> Even though I was kind of shitting on it, it's a really fun watch. It's one of those movies that you can just kind of put on, at, you know, like at like a party. <laughs> or, like, or at like a screening for B-movies. Just throw it on. You can talk over it. You're not going to miss anything. But you'll catch... You are going to miss some genuinely good jokes. Yeah. Some of the jokes are hilarious. Well, exactly. Actually. Catching snippets out of the side of your eye is going to make you want to kind of like pay attention to this movie. Like, it's... <laughs> It's so fucking dumb, but it's so fucking funny. And I think that might be like the best thing you could say about this movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I love this movie. This is one of my favorite B-movies out there. It's not... And it's it. I like it for different reasons because most B-movies, you know, when I say like a so bad it's good movie or something like, oh, this is hilarious. It's I'm laughing at it because it's terrible or it's incompetent. This, I'm, I'm laughing more with the movie because the movie is... A comedy and it's genuinely yeah. funny yeah it's it's a different thing than like sleepaway camp which is just hilarious because of how weird it is this movie succeeds in being a movie yeah and it's just weird enough that like it adds to that b movie quality but it's a genuinely funny movie and it is entertaining like there's no way that you can say watching a midget get a ninja star to the head and then explode isn't entertaining you know no. everybody would find that interesting right I think if I were to compare this to something we've done, I guess, I would say maybe like Dolomite, because Dolomite is genuinely funny at times, but it's mostly funny because of how terrible it is. This movie, it's less incompetent, but I think it's also funnier than Dolomite, like in terms of the writing and the performances. Dolomite is really just hilarious because Rudy Ray Moore is such a character. 
is so not an actor, <laughs> which I guess is kind of Monique Gabriel in this movie, but I don't know. I, I like it quite a bit. Classic B movie. It's a Hall of Fame B movie first ballot. Yeah, and I mean, just watching it just to watch Monique Gabriel try to act is amazing. You, your heart kind of like. You, you say try to act, and yeah, but just watching it from Monique Gabriel, honestly, for everything that she is about, whether it's the terrible yeah, performance. I'll give it to you. Or the incredible nudity. It's all there. (laughs) Yeah, I'll give it to you. I agree. (laughs) 